network network what is the meaning of network what is the meaning of network network ka meaning kya hai anything coming at one place and going at multiple places is a network traffic network right so roads hai yeah it's a network right so anything where you want to like manage something right so it's called a network network of roads right network of anything right so network is a generic word so when it comes to specifically networking with respect to our building automation we are talking about lan and wan what is lan and wan मेरे बच्चे में मैं बोलता हूँ लाइन एंड बाय व्हाट इस लाइन एंड बाय लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क लाइन इस लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क वाइन इस बड़े नेटवर्क वी मेनली वर्क इन दिस सर ना so network network हम लोग इसलिए बिल्ड करते हैं ताकि information एक जगह से दूसरे जगह को transform करने के लिए right मेरा जो भी data है right from one place to another place को ए करने के लिए तो वो हम लोग क्या करते हैं अब like let's say there are like lot of computers right we have connected them on a network now this computer or a device can share the information with this or with this or with this and vice versa it's a dual connected network right now the ultimately the the work of this network is to share data right now data will be in multiple format right so network basically becomes a, a generic form of carrying the data right the, so mainly what we using is a lan network right on top of the lan network we can transfer lot of data the one of the main ones is like tcp ip tcp ip is a protocol is used to transfer the internet after the internet comes as that so tcp ip protocol pe kaam karta hai right now on the lan i can also transfer cctv data Right now, how does this is the CCTV work? Basically, uses the H dot two six five plus data format, right? And it uses some maybe like TCP IP, huh? so it uses like this format is transferred over a TCP IP again. So, uh, so we can transfer uh, internet, right? Land the uh, CCTV data, right? I can connect video or phones. I can this data. Is like little bit different from the two sixty five, right? We can connect your video or IP, audio or IP, KNX or IP, Modbus or IP. So, यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है? There are multiple things are communicating using the multiple protocols. On a one cable, this cable is a like a track, a railway track. You understand? Or, or track pe you can run a goods train, you can run a passenger train, you can run this thing. So all these are like different trains, right? So now, when you are like loading different services onto the LAN network, you should ensure this LAN is capable of handling so much data speed. So who are the major culprits? Major culprits are वीडियो और आईपी इसको बहुत डेटा चाहिए बिकॉज़ इट्स ऑलमोस्ट सेंड सेट डेटा एट जीबीपीएस समझ में आ रहा क्योंकि वी आर एक्सपेक्ट सेंडिंग 4K डेटा 8K डेटा राइट 8K डेटा इज नॉट पॉसिबल ऑन आईपी 4K डेटा वी आर सेंडिंग व्हेन यू आर सेंडिंग 4K डेटा डेटा का जो पैकेट होता है बहुत ह्यूज होता है सो इट कंज्यूम्स लॉट ऑफ बैंडविड्थ व्हाट इज व्हाट इज बैंडविड्थ रेंज Right. So it's a capacity of handling data. So हम लोग बोलते हैं मेगाबाइट्स रिच, गीगाबाइट्स रिच. So that means 
इट कैन हैंडल डेटा इन गीगाबिट एंड मेगाबिट्स सो ईच पोर्ट जो हम लोग नॉर्मल नेटवर्क स्विच नॉर्मल नेटवर्क स्विच जो इस्तेमाल करते हैं नॉर्मल नेटवर्क स्विच जो इस्तेमाल करते हैं वो यूजुअली 10 टू 100 एमबीपीएस ऑफ डेटा को शेयर कर सकता है अभी तो हम नीचे स्विच देख रहे हो शो मी द व्हिच इज द स्विच नेटवर्क स्विच अनिल व्हिच इज द व्हिच इज द नेटवर्क स्विच व्हिच इज द नेटवर्क स्विच देयर That blue color one is the network switch. That is has a capacity of hundred ten to hundred Mbps. So now, wait. इधर आज ये ला हम सैंपल पोस्ट में बैठो नेटवर्क से चुकास के बोला ला इलाज में लगता है ना अलग है तो यार सो बेसिकली बैंडविड ओके बैंडविड इज अ कैपेसिटी ऑफ अ डिवाइस टू अंडर द रेट ना सो दिस दिस डिवाइस व्हाट इज होल्डिंग इट्स अ नेटवर्क स्विच It has a data handling capacity of 10 to 100 Mbps. Clear? Yeah. So we use CAT6 cables to transfer the data. Again, CAT6 cable also has a capacity to handle data up to what? There are like there are CAT6 types are there. CAT6A is there, right? CAT6E is there, right? Just CAT6 is there. Depending on what CAT is there, depending on the type and copper, they can handle data. Up to what? Hundred Mbps. 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 Hundred Right, we use optical network. So networking is a interconnection of devices or a component to share the data. Right. So networking का काम क्या है? Data को इस तरह से share करना. So हम लोग कौन सा network इस्तेमाल करते हैं? We use the LAN network. LAN network को interconnect करने के लिए हम लोग कौन सा cable इस्तेमाल करते हैं? Cassis cable. Right. Cassis. We use the Cassis cable. We send the information to one place to other place. So How do we know what is the capacity of a bandwidth thing? So we use switches. Switches have a bandwidth. We use cables. Cables have a capacity. So you guys have to see how much capacity is there, right? And depending on how many services you are loading onto the LAN network, based on that you will size the network speed. Right? So we need to know how much capacity is there. So we need to know how much capacity is there. Right? So we need to know how much capacity is there. Right? So we need to know how much capacity is there. Right? So we need to know how much Database then. What are database then? CCTV, video, basketball. So, what are services we? What are services we do that are carried over the LAN network? CCTV. Video over phone, right? KNX over IP, right? What then what is over IP? Internet, right? So when it comes to commercial projects, we take audio over IP and video over IP. Okay. So in present segment. We do this now. In this again, the culprits are these two. This takes very less bandwidth. This basically talks in kbps. So, 
इसका जो डेटा है एक प्लेस में रहता है तो ये भ्रम नहीं करता इंटरनेट है ना इंटरनेट इज अ वेरी वेल ऑप्टिमाइज्ड है अनफील एंड अनलेस यू आर वाचिंग समथिंग ऑन YouTube राइट और यू आर डाउनलोडिंग सम वीडियो तभी हमारा बैंडविड्थ ज्यादा खर्च होता है और ना खर्च नहीं होता सो एनीवे पीपल नीड दिस सो वी हैव टू इंश्योर देयर इंटरनेट इज वर्किंग प्रॉपर्ली फर्स्ट सो मेरा सो सीसीटीवी एंड वीडीपी आर द कंप्लीट व्हिच कंज्यूम लॉट ऑफ बैंडविड्थ ऑन द नेटवर्क तो हम लोग इसको क्या करते हैं देयर आर टू वेज ऑफ मैनेजिंग दिस डेटा वन यूज टू स्विचेस सेपरेट स्विचेस ठीक है दो सेपरेट स्विचेस इस्तेमाल करो ताकि इसका जो हैंडलिंग बर्डन है ना इट हैज बीन फॉल्स ऑन द सेपरेट स्विच ऑल्टरगेदर दूसरा तुम सेम स्विच इस्तेमाल कर रहे हो तो यू कैन क्रिएट अ समथिंग कॉल्ड वीलैन वीलैन इज व्हाट वर्चुअल लैन वर्चुअल लैन का क्या होता है जैसे 24 फुट स्विच है यू कैन सेट 12 फोल्ड फॉर सीसीटीवी इसको तुम बैंडविड्थ एलोकेट कर सकते हो यू कैन एलोकेट अ बैंडविड्थ एंड 12 फोल्ड को लाइक यू कैन डू यूज इट फॉर अ इंटरनेट एंड अदर डिवाइसेस इसको तुम लोग बैंडविड्थ एलोकेट कर सकते हो तब क्या होता है इस ये इसपे नहीं खाता है ये इसका नहीं खाता है दे विल हैव देयर ओन बैंडविड्थ सो दैट यू कैन अचीव यूजिंग द वीलैन इसमें क्या होता है देयर आर टू सेपरेट लैंस यू कैन हैव अ स्विच फॉर वन सीसीटीवी एंड वन मोर फॉर इंटरनेट there are like two physical lands samajh mein aa raha hai the second you separate the lan tumhara ip address jata hai default ip address koi bhi device pe dete ho to 192.168.1.1 pe aata hai right so now this is one lan this is like remains constant so 2.1 becomes a one more lan 3.1 becomes a one more lan so we now multiple so now if you want to transfer the information between these lan One to nine to, we have to do something called port forwarding. तभी वो information ये से ये होगा क्योंकि ये दो different lines हैं. So I'm gonna this is one one, this is one nine. So I'm gonna so lan में information share होने के लिए we have to give a permission so that we can share the data between two. So we can do that. So I'm gonna so इधर इसमें हम लोग क्या कर रहे हैं? There is a one one physical capacity of a device to handle the data, and second thing is the data sharing between the two switches. So, so, we look like if I put all the CCTVs here, all the burden will be on this switch. I can only give one uplink to this switch, so only the required information can go from here. Okay, let's say I have connected a Wi-Fi access point to this, and further want to see CCTV, only then it will share the data to this switch, and this will be the work done. Once it like stops seeing CCTV. Like we need not put it that information. That information is like being handed here. So you know, so we can create a two lands or a virtual land to manage the bandwidth and speed of a network. So you know, again the problem क्या होता है? The problem is the cost. The more the number of switches you increase, the cost of the network will increase. So these are the services we basically use, and we separate. A consumer data consumer data करता है. क्योंकि अगर ऐसे एक दो दिन सीसीटीवी काम नहीं किया तो उसको चलेगा बट इंटरनेट काम नहीं किया तो उसको प्रॉब्लम है बट अगेन सीसीटीवी इज इंपॉर्टेंट ए सिक्योरिटी है लेट्स से आज सुबह सीसीटीवी काम नहीं कर रहा है इट्स नॉट वर्किंग टुडे एंड सेम डे देयर इज अ डेथ थ्रेट यू कैन कम एंड से इफ द सिस्टम व्हाट यू इज नॉट गुड राइट सो वेयर एवरी चली हो गया एंड योर सीसीटीवी इज नॉट ओके सो वी हैव टू इंश्योर द प्रॉपर ऑपरेशन यू कनेक्टिंग दिस विद अ सेपरेट लैन हेल्प्स इन वन मोर वे नाउ is internet will keep going down like internet goes down he calls say that data the internet or thing that guy comes and put us with the network now he has changed he has changed the ip as saying that now this is also not working that is one more reason you have to keep this separate this separate that way what happens at least this thing is working on its own always for at least like you cannot see in the mobile but at least this is recording so this cctv and nvr should be on the same network so now let's say for some reason this internet wala kha ki kharab ho gaya this system is slow ki you want to should right uh, so they were like ensuring even though you can see the mobile because it's not connected to the internet at least according to that's why like separating the what lands helps you to waste one there is no disturbance from the one device to another device you can share the bandwidth and manage it can be done two ways having two physical switches or creating a vlan
So go read about more about VLAN and come. हम लोग आज तक VLAN को किया नहीं है हम लोग एक ही नेटवर्क बना के खत्म कर देते हैं क्योंकि we do relationship right where data transfer is like very minimal समझ रहा है CCTV का एक ही है एक उसको हम लोग एक पे जाके छोड़ देते हैं but we are not doing it in every sector so we have to do this way or this way to ensure the system is working properly समझ रहा है so these are the Services we use, and all of them use different protocols. Right? Cache becomes a basically a medium for all those protocols. So now LAN, right? So when you say LAN, right? So what are the components we use in the LAN? Right? First of all, some of switch here. What is what is this? This is not network switch. It's called a network switch, right? Network switch. Here, network switch. There are two types. One is POE, and one is normal. Okay. And what, this this you can classify into almost section also based on the bandwidth. Okay. Bandwidth and security. Okay. So, in this, layer one, layer two, layer three, what do you have? You get the switches with layer one, layer two, layer three security. So layer three has a more capacity in terms of a security, in terms of a firewall, in terms of uh, uh, what creating a virtual LAN, all that. You can basically compare each port to be different in layer three, right? So you uh, read about layers of switches, okay? Layers of switches. Okay, so mainly we use POE and we use usually layer two switches. In the layer two switches, these are like just plug and play kind of things. You have a network. Switch. Okay. Now whatever data, let's say I give CCTV here, I give Wi-Fi access point. Okay. And I have a Let's say, let's say I have given it to AW. So now what happens in the layer 2 switch, once the internet comes, this data is available to everyone without any restriction. Now, this is the break of the door. This data is available. Right? In a layer 3 switch, you can say, I don't want the CCTV data to be shared on this port or this port. Or you can say I can create a one more layer of security. अगर इसको CCTV को access करना है, तो you have to have a page. मतलब user के password देता है, तो ही इसको access कर सकते हैं. That way what happens? We can restrict the data that is being shared on that. That happens on the layer three time. Layer two में restriction नहीं होता. So we use layer two because we don't because we are putting within the house and in the house we expect everyone to use everything. So हमको manage नहीं करना है. But if you go one level above, I was in building space, there will be a lot of data sharing. So few people don't want to share their audit data, but it's still on the LAN. That time they say that this data cannot be shared. So we use a layer to switch, right? Switch is just scan karte hai, data ko exchange karte hai. So basically you have a 24 port switch, okay? 24 port switch hai. 1, 2, 3, like that. Let's say you have a 24 port switches. So if my internet then yeah, all the 24 switch will have a internet access. Right now, next one I'll give a CCTV. So all the other switches and other ports have a access to internet. I mean CCTV. So we are not restricting anything. Only thing we have to ensure how much bandwidth this requires. So that much bandwidth this can handle. So no matter. So here 24 switch 24 port. This is a 24 port. So it can handle 24 devices. 24 devices. So depending upon bandwidth. Yes. So band band मतलब तुम लगा सकते हो अगर bandwidth ज़्यादा हो गया वो क्या करेगा राशन करेगा राशन करेगा मतलब बोलेगा मैं पहले इसको बेचता हूँ इसका काम पता होगा मैं इसको बेचता हूँ लाइक फर्स्ट आंसर इन दिस डेटा Right, it has a capacity of 10 Mbps and you have thrown 20 Mbps data. 
So what it will do, let's say it will handle 10 MPS data, it takes about 10 seconds. But you have thrown 20 MPS of data. It will say, first I'll transfer 10 MPS and save. So your latency will increase. This is a normal switch. Latency will increase. So you are not? Latency is capacity is 10 MPS. 10 megabits per second. So, you can give it 20 MPS. So, you can give it 2 seconds. So, you can give it latency in this other data. So, you can give it 1 second, 2 second latency is not accepted. The latency has to be in milliseconds. So, you can give it latency in this data. So, you can give it latency in this data. So, if the latency is very big, then the data is lost. Let's say I have 10 MPS capacity, I have thrown at once 50 MPS of data. If you don't know how much it is, then it will transfer it. So, why? Because if you want to transfer it, it will be waiting in the RAM and ROM of the device. If you have a RAM and ROM device, let's say, it is 10 MPS data. If you have a RAM, let's say, 40 MPS. And you have thrown 50 MPS. वो दस बीट डेटा काम करेगी वो बोले तो भाई मेरे को इनफॉरमेशन चाहिए तो वापस ले लेगा तो सो इट वर्क्स एट इट्स ओन स्पीड सही में आ रहा है सो यू हैव टू इंश्योर द बैंडविड द हैंडल कैपेसिटी ऑफ द स्विचेस आर राइट ओनली देन तुमको वो सीमेंस एक्सपीरियंस मिलेगा और नहीं मिलेगा एनीवे हम so, we don't have to worry about this, we don't have to worry about it. Just plug and play and go. So, what do you think about POI switch and normal switch? What is the difference between POI switch? Normal switch only transfers the data. POI can transfer data plus power. Now, which are devices require power? Because CCTV requires power. Right? So, every device requires the power to operate. Right? Like I have a mobile, mobile requires power to operate, how I am giving that power, I have put a battery inside and through that battery, it is taking power. I cannot put battery in all the devices, right? So what we do, we inject the power. There are a lot of devices which require only data, right? Let's say my access point is to only data. Where is the power? 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 If you see that, uh, the white color one on the top, it requires only data. Why? It is derived the power from the socket. So, if you see the camera, camera has only one port because they would have written POE. That means it's to power B. So, every device requires power. Either it is POE or it is through a socket. So, the one which has an additional socket, usko to put data, normal data in the bucket. The one which doesn't have an additional socket, that we have to give power over POE. POE is power over Ethernet. Can? Power over Ethernet. Right? So, there are a lot of devices which require power. For example, access points can. Access points can. Internet access can. Now, a lot of access points come with the POE. This advantage is that I have a ceiling me laga leta hu. I give a POE switch, I don't need to give a socket. That switch is not in the ceiling. That white color switch, I cannot keep in the ceiling. Why? Because I need power socket also. Power socket is not in the ceiling. If there is POE, I just bring a cat system and give it. It can handle both power and data. So, it can locate any issue. One cable is going to be done. So, basically this one port is good enough. To this port only, we can transfer power and data. Right? POE. POE. If you cannot make a difference between the POE and normal, you cannot think. You have to read the label only that you come to know which is POE which is not POE. Otherwise, there is no difference. Usually, POEs are a little bigger. The reason you have made it bigger is because there are power supplies. SMPS is inbuilt. That's why the size is bigger. Size is not bigger, but you can see the size of the size. If POE is normal. So all the devices that require power within the cable are connected on the POE, which require addition, which can take power from addition, they can be connected on the normal switch. 
obviously pure distance can, can transfer power and data on the same the price is higher uske andar smd sab dikha hai so the price is higher understood so now the typical capacity of poe for 24 volt is like 160 watt 160 or 180 watt now what is the like high wattage uh, pure sir coming high power watt i mean so they can handle up to i think 300 watts so let's say i have a four port switch Okay, four port switch. This capacity is say 60 watt. If I connect four cameras which are consuming 50 watt, so ये 60 watt. काम नहीं होएगा. 60 watt, 50 for the 60. So it is matching. So it will work. Let's say I connect a camera 50 watt. Now the consumption is 60 watt. How much this can handle? 60 watt. That time what happens? One of the camera. This will only decide. I will not connect this. It will only give the power to this thing. So, so we have to when you are taking the PoE, you have to size it for the power consumption also. हम लोग क्या करते हैं हम लोग दे देते हैं लगा देते हैं सर एक दो कैमरा काम नहीं कर रहा अच्छा नहीं कर रहा क्या और कुछ लगा देते हैं हम लोग थोड़ा रिवर्स नहीं कर रहे हैं सर ना we go to side we connect all the cameras then we realize दो कैमरा काम नहीं कर रहा है तो और कुछ लगा के उसको दे देते हैं Right, so that is like since we, we are not calculating at office level, we are doing that. But the problem is that I would have told, sir, one time you are going to do one time, you are going to do two or two or two. Now, it's going to happen. You are going to do one time, you are going to do one time, you are going to do one time, you are going to do one time. So that's why designing beforehand is important. So you will select a switch based on four things. One is, are you like transferring? Only data or plus POE, data plus POE, right? You could choose a normal network lab or a POE. Second, layer type chahiye tumko. If you want to restrict the and manage the data, secure the data, layer two, yeah, layer three. Third thing is you have to check how much bandwidth does your system require to handle the data, right? Then you change on the bandwidth. What is the fourth one? What is the fourth one? Anyway, I don't recall. So, I'm going to tell you one more. Based on these four criteria, you make a selection of a network switch. So, I'm going to tell you. And we will divide the network based on the bandwidth allocation. And critical, non-critical. Non-critical, you can ensure that. Critical, you can ensure that. You can ensure that. Usually, we don't have to do internet. We don't have to do the customer. So, we can ensure that the internet is working on the internet. So now you have understood what is LAN, type of switches, the bandwidth allocation goes up, right? Now how? Now let's say you take a typical house. Okay. Now I have a CCTV cameras all over the building. I have a radio room. I have a access points. Right, I have a smart TV. But it's not okay. We want to connect all of them to the network. So, CAT is cable is peer to peer. Peer to peer means the cable is out of the network. You cannot tap off and take the data from in between. It is always come from peer to peer. Like one camera requires one CAT is going from the switch. Switch is the only place we can where we can divide the data. You cannot divide it in between. Power, just a power on phase neutral jar. We can tap it and take the power from here. Right? This is that is not possible. Because there is a something called end to end encryption. So you data we can have a so encrypt that you size the over. So this will this way tap or okay. So you will not understand because you need a key here, you need a key here. Age of Yapia. तभी वो एंकोड करो ये स्विच भी एंकोड नहीं करता है बेसिकली दिस डिवाइस बट से एनवीआर हैज अ की एंड दिस इज डिकोड द इंफॉर्मेशन सो ये आई एम एंकोडिंग वो मैं बात बोलता हूं सो ऑल द कैमरास आर कनेक्टेड राइट सो हाउ मेनी कैटिस केबल्स वी वी हैव कैलकुलेट बेस्ड ऑन द नंबर ऑफ कैलकुलेट हाउ मेनी पोर्ट्स वी रिक्वायर वी कैलकुलेट सो नाउ टू टर्मिनेट द कैमरा वी रिक्वायर टू कंपोनेंट्स आई टेक द केबल राइट now this is the cable. Okay. 
Okay. This is the cache table. This has the end. Right. So I can create it with the jack. Right. Now this jack goes where? It goes into the RJ45 socket. This is what? RJ45 socket. What is this? RJ45. So this can go here. Okay, the, this is the RJ45 keystone also. Okay. So this can go inside this and lock. This can be jacket. Okay. Now, now when you have a camera, you have to see camera what input is there given. Camera has what kind of input? Usually they will have a they will would have given a cable or they would have given a cable with the female jack. No? They would give a female jack, right? Camera like they would give a female jack, okay. So if you have a female, obviously you need a male jack to connect them. So we have to make a decision at this point whether you have to give a RJ45 socket, or you have to insert two model box, or you have to just pick a jack and leave. So my camera is such a problem of water leakage So we have to ensure there is no water leakage into the camera. So we have to use the proper weatherproof box. And whatever mission I'm making is being the connection to the weather group box. Right? So now we have cameras. Cameras are coming to the switches. So we calculate how many devices are there. Okay, one, two, three, four, four. Like that, we calculate all the devices and check how much force you require. Right? Now let's say there is a house. Okay. Now each house has a multiple floors. So I can make a network switch here and bring all the wires from all the floors. To this switch. Okay, we usually do this, but if your cable length is increasing, right? Your like number of devices increase. What I can do? I can divide the hubs into multiple things, right? So what I do? I will bring all the cases cables in this board to this device. This ka flow ka usi mein rahega. Then I can do a uplink. This is a DC chain uplink. Okay, because I'm DC chain. In this, the speed gets limited. So what I do, we do a star connection. Let's say this is a main switch. A switch GPS may data handle set time. So I'll use a GPS uplink and time here. I'll connect to you. So this is called star connection. Why? From the main switch, we are doing a star. This is first floor, second floor, third floor. If you connect them, it's looking like a star. So right. So we do a star connection. That way, what happens? That main data which is available at the main switch. Main switch we can hear them no internet. Right? Or NVR. So Joby main data ko hold karta hai. Whichever device holds the main data, which has to be shared across all the floors, have to be connected to the main switch. Now what happens? I have an internet. Internet is coming to this. From here, I'm going to transfer to this. I'm going to transfer it to this. Right. Now, what do you do? You can do the IC So, data is here, 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 here. So, there will be a huge data loss and the increase of latency. So, that's why, if you have multiple floors, you are dividing the switch into multiple things, ensure you have a very good capacity switch at the main, and all the main connections have to be connected here. So, because this can handle a large data. Yeah, this can be a normal MVPS switch. Two, this can be like maybe you have to have two TVs, one access point. So we do not know. But to to So this is Understood? Yes. So this is how we have to do this. is called a distributed LAN. Right? So we have a each floor LANs where we create a hub on the floor, bring all the access cable and Use a uplink in a star connected fashion. Now, if speed both come per drive, we can use an optical uplink. What is, the, what is the optical uplink? I can go up to 10 GBPS or even 100 GBPS that may develop. So, understood? So LAN cables are cannot be tapped in between. They are peer to peer from each device to they come to the network switch. Right? So I can either have a central switch or I can divide them floor-wise. If you are dividing them floor-wise, 
always do a star connection directly from the main switch. All your main storage devices have to be connected to the main switch. Which are the main storage devices? Your main NVR, which stores the data. I want to access the NVR from all the floors. So if I connect it to here, then the problem what happens? This data again jumps here. You know, it jumps here and then goes. That's where the more the jumps of the sharing data, more the latency and delays. So connect all the main devices to this. Right? Understood? Sir, if we have our main switch, then we will have our own switch. So again, this switch to switch distance cannot be more than 90 meters. 90 meters is more than 90 meters, so data transfer. So any switch to device, the distance cannot be more than 90 meters. So it should be less than less than 90 meters. So hmm? so switch is coming here. This switch is right now. This is the camera. Look at the camera. There are only two ports in here. There are other two ports. One is the RJ45 port. This is what I want to do. Cable with a jack. So this is what I want to do. So we have to ensure that there is no order like this. Now if you if you don't have POE data, you can give a data. You can give a one volt connection. So if this device can work on POE or data plus one volt. Right. So Tumbo, you can get to see what data it receives based on the meter meter data. Every device requires two things: power and data. Few of them are POE, so that means with the same cable we receive. Few of them have an additional input. So data cables, data switches are used where you have a collision to meet the this thing. So now what happens? So you understood, right? So let us take the so distributed network uplink star connection coming like that. So now what happens? I have a camera. Okay, let's say I have some twenty cameras. Okay. I have 20 cameras. So, what we can do is that the side engineers have to put the camera on the side. Right? I have 20 cables coming in. Now, since we are going to create a VTAN, we are going to create a separate network. These wire targets are attached to it. I don't know if I have to connect this cable to which cable. There are two things. One is a patch panel. One more is a switch. This is a patch panel. This patch panel. This is a passive component. इसका काम क्या है? इसका काम सिर्फ data को transfer करने में help करने जैसा है. Now what happens? I will use this keystone. Punch the cable cable that is coming. I'll punch the okay and put it inside this. ऐसे आ जाए. And lock on. Okay. Yeah, ऐसे आ जाए. Now I have framed the cable which is coming from the camera. I have printed the cable is coming from the camera. I will print this. Okay. Inside this. Now, this whatever on this other end data is there is available in this port. This port say my patch cable link here. This goes into this. From here, I'll take it and give it the switch. So we're gonna go. This is a patch panel. This is a network switch. Now the reason we are connecting to the patch panel first because there are two people working. There is an engineer who configures the switch. And there is a technician who pulls the wire. Now technician does not know, should I connect the camera to port 1 or port 2 or which port? He will do virtual and he will do it. He will do it. So what he will do? He will lay the cables, he will punch them and connect it to the patch panel. Now the next engineer goes, engineer says, all these are CCTVs. Connect them from port to 20. Oh, we can create the game. One second advantage is this equipment is expensive. This is cheap. This is about 2400 rupees. Right? POE is something like it. It costs you about 500 rupees. What happens? Let's say the crimping is not good. You can remove the keystone, throw it, and punch one more. Let's say there's something wrong with this thing. You can always remove it. Something goes wrong with this port. 
then you have to replace the whole thing. This switches, which the base of the this thing, what layer two and the data handling capacity cost you from right from fifty thousand to about four to five lakhs. So you have to handle this switch very carefully, so that you're not plugging, plugging out, plugging out like too often. So whatever the stress is there, it goes onto this switch. So, once it is configured and is connected, we will not touch this because we want to handle this carefully. Something, whatever, like all the problems are solved in the patch panel. Patch panel are a medium which will safeguard a get jasa. Basically, whatever the problem happens, happens here. One. Second thing is, since the technician do not know which cam, which port to connect to which camera, he will leave it, then the engineer goes. Connects, selects the switch and connects to the network switch. So, so keystone, Cassis cable, patch panel, right? Patch cable, the cable which connects the patch panel and the switch is called patch cable. We are patching network switch to patch panel, right? This is a jack, RJ45 jack. RJ45 is RJ45 socket So there is a color coding of a crimping. Now, if you see this cable, in this there are four pairs. In this there are four pairs. In this there are four pairs. Pair. This is the color coding of a crimping. This may get crossover. This is a crossover. Right? One equals a cross over time, like green, green, blue. Cross over like that. Haan, like that. Yaan pe dekho, this is the green, this is the blue, right? Then, then green, right? Blue. So basically, blue, green, and uh, blue and green are exchanged. So, what Same. Orange, white, orange. Green, white, blue again. Blue, white, then green. Right. This is what brown. This is brown, 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 white, and brown. So, so a cable crossover here. So, we have crossover usually cut there. A cable crossover. A punch like a cable. So, we have a problem. Is that a problem? Is that a problem? Is that a Crossover key will be Write it down. Why do we need to do, why do we need to do crossover while drifting the access to the vehicle? Pile pile switches can handle. If you have to cross over, then they can handle. So, so this is the cable which is connected to the vehicle. There are four pairs: blue, blue white, brown, brown white, green, green white, orange, orange white. Green white and Blue white cross all of that. So, man, these two gets exchanged. Instead of like instead of pairing blue blue white and green green white, we are pairing the opposite. This is called a crossover. So, crossover kya hota hai? Tum padhe ho. Mere ko bhi kisi ko. Got it? So, from the cameras, from the cameras to the patch panel, you need to know what accessories you need here. Jack. Socket, Joby, right? you have to see the equipment and decide. So, you need accessories here camera, jack, from jack to cassis cable, cassis cable to patch panel. What accessories you need to patch panel? Patch panel, keystone. From keystone to patch cable, patch cable to view switch. Understood? Why we have a patch panel? So that no harm is caused to this, and engineer can decide where to create a VLAN and which. From which port to which port cameras are connected, from which port to which port extra points are connected, VDP is connected, he will decide. So, uh, so that's why we need a different. So, this is the work of a technician, this is the work of a engineer. So, uh, any questions? So, there are like you have to understand which is a which is a what devices which work on a LAN and connect all of them with the LAN. Right? Now, every data is available on the LAN. Okay, now information flow is Now, how does the information flow? First and foremost, you have a service provider. 
let's say eight L. You have a service provider. So eight L that comes, this is optical fiber cable. Okay. So the first device is something called a opto coupler. So if ये क्या करता है optical, this will change the signal from optical to coupler. Then you have something called a modem. What is the work of a modem? Authentication. Authentication. Let's say woman. Woman has taken an internet connection. Right? I don't want Santosh to come and take my data. Or this Airtel wants to ensure woman is paying the bill on time. How do they check? They check through a modem. So all the information, how much data I'm using, I have paid a bill, all the information of modem may have. From the modem, it goes to the Router. What is the work of router? To route the data and to restrict the data. Right from the router, it goes to the switch. From the switch, it goes to the access point. Is so access point you must have Right. There are like three types of access point: access point, repeater, and router. You can add one more router also. Let's say a router is enough. 1.1 this router can be a 2.1. So that means you are creating a LAN within a LAN. This is your LAN. Within that you can create one more. So if we say information nahi chate, wo jahan pe jahe. let's say second floor pe koi banda. Wo chata hai ki second floor ka information first floor mein nahi aaya. So what kya karna hai? Wahan pe ek LAN kar dena. Then what happens? It basically the overall network becomes a LAN. So you can the information will not flow from here to here. But if you want the information to flow from this floor to that floor, keep the LAN same. If you don't want the information to be shared, then change it. So no, no. Is switch second to the right hand is possible? No. Every time you want to change a LAN, you need a router. Router is the only device which can create a new LAN. Router is the same. So optical coupler, modem. Router. These three devices you require. More optical coupler का काम क्या है? Signal conversion. Modem का काम क्या है? Authentication. Router का काम क्या है? Data management. IP address allocation is done by router. Router is a device which allocates the IP address. चलो ना ना. तो अभी मेरा मोबाइल है. ठीक है? मेरा मोबाइल मैंने इस access point से connect किया है. ठीक है? ये access point बोलता है कि भाई there is one device who wants to access the internet. So every time I want to access the internet, I need to be given an address. So ये इसको बोलता है, ये इसको बोलता है. This guy says, okay, I have a 192.168.1.21 empty. Allocate that करके ये बोलता है. Then this device, this user address of 21, then I can access. The address allocation is done by the router. Access point नहीं करता. Access point से data को share करता है. It's like a booster. So there are two ways. One is the access point, one more is the repeater. So what a very minimal change hai. We use access point so that we have a same SSID across the house. SSID you know? When you are like logging into this house, it, you get a DAPL, DAPL header. Right? Right? Now these are the SSIDs. That means they are asking like which router you want to get connected to. Right? These are the TAPL, these are the SSIDs. You need a SSID and a password to get connected to a router. Once you authenticate this, then we put that, okay, I'll share start sharing with the information. This SSID is different from this. This will be given by the ATM line. राइट हाँ जो वो वो उसकी भी अलग होता है वो पासवर्ड अलग होता है हमारे लिए कुछ तो है उम्र इन अंतिम डॉट को करके है पासवर्ड कुछ तो है सो दिस इज दिस इज डिफरेंट दिस इज दिस इज द ऑथेंटिकेशन फॉर द एटीएल राइट टू गिव मी द डेटा दिस इज द ऑथेंटिकेशन विद इन द लैंड टू सब टू यू एक्सेस � what I will do, I will compress all of them into one device. Right? Optical is coupler being built, modem being built, 
आउटर प्लेन में है दिस इज व्हाट आई एम गिविंग एंड इसमें वाईफाई भी है दिस इज व्हाट द दिस पीपल आर गिविंग राइट नाउ तुम डिवाइस को बोला वंस यू गो सी द डिवाइस ऑप्टिकल फाइबर गोस इट हैज अ मॉडर्न इट हैज अ राउटर एवरीथिंग इन इट ये वन डिवाइस इज डूइंग ऑल द जॉब्स द एटर पीपल यूजुअली कॉल इट अ राउटर but it has all of them in bed so uh, so when you are selecting the router you have to select like whether the input is coming on the copper optical does it require a modem or does it require a triple poe data see there is a authentication again right lot of people have their own authentication in the case of their own authentication they will only give their modem इन के सब दिस इज ट्रिपल पीओ इज अ ओपन टाइप ऑथेंटिकेशन उसमें तुम कैसे दे देगा तुम डायरेक्टली ट्रिपल पीओ से एक और कॉमेंट कर सकते हो कि माय यू करके सो मैं आना बहुत सारे दोस्त पे करके ट्रिपल पीओ ऑथेंटिकेशन सेकंड में मार दिया सो हम लोग तुमको तुमको मार दिया बाबा तुमको ली देयर इज सेपरेट मोड है देयर इज नॉट ट्रिपल पीओ ही राइट वेयर एवर दिस एरिया इज दो आप दे दो देयर द ऑथेंटिकेशन इज नॉट ट्रिपल पीओ ही ट्रिपल पीओ ऑथेंटिकेशन दैट मींस यू गेट अ कॉपर and you can insert the jo adder the user password isi mein insert kar sakte ho router bhi hai lan setting mein jaake you can do the this also so mera so data information is what from optical fiber to optical copper optical fiber to modem modem to router router to network switch network switch to access point access point to the devices up like access point is the अभी जो है ना वो उसका काम क्या है जो भी ये स्विच पे डेटा है उसको वायरलेस के काम में पैरामीटराइजेशन ऑफ़ द राउटर इफ यू गो टू राउटर सेटिंग्स दिस इज़ व्हाट यू विल सी राइट सो स्टैटिक आईपी राइट वो सब राइट सो राउटर कैसे कंट्रोल करना है वो एक क्लास लेगा so now what is the work of access point access point the work is to put all the data which is available on a switch on a wireless format ye kya karta hai wire pe data receive karta hai wireless se convert karke power nik deta hai isko kaun receive karega whoever the logs into this can receive the data right there are lot of devices which are wire devices tumhara jaise ccd mein ho gaya usko tum wireless se karna so let's say mere paas abhi ek amplifier hai ठीक है टू पार्ट वन एम्पलीफायर है दो स्पीकर है लेफ्ट एंड राइट ठीक है सो नाउ दिस एम्पलीफायर वर्क इज टू प्रोड्यूस साउंड इन द स्पीकर राइट सो इसके लिए मेरे को सोर्स चाहिए आई विल कनेक्ट अ मीडिया प्लेयर ओके मीडिया प्लेयर व्हाट सीडी प्लेयर में कनेक्ट करता हूं सीडी प्लेयर क्या करेगा सीडी प्लेयर विल रीप्रोड्यूस अ साउंड फ्रॉम द सीडी पुट इट ऑन टू द प्रीएम्प मोड ओके व्हाट इज प्रीएम्प एंड एम्प प्रीएम्प इज व्हाट इज साउंड ऑफ अ यूर mobile headphone jack you cannot connect a big speaker to it it has a preamp output so you know so small electrons you can drive so media player will give a preamp output preamp output is given to the amplifier it amps up and gives a high power to speaker and you so now if i want to control the parameters of this abhi mere ko kya karna hai we have to go press the buttons increase the volume on the device now i say i want to control this device from the phone so this will have a ip given right yes. all the control parameters are brought to the network switch now this works on some protocol you understand so you need to know what is the protocol i can install this app in the mobile right so once you have this app i can control this device whether going to that through the lan cable understood what i am telling okay sir the data is coming from switch right from a power power we give from socket right mm -hmm. for amplifier or a speaker mm -hmm. so we give from socket mm -hmm. power mm -hmm. okay so only now i what i want to do i want to control the parameters of this amplifier what are the parameters you control of the amplifier volume up volume down mute pause play all those parameters i want to control how do i control i can go to the device there be button on top you press them so you know right now this 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 has a like these are the buttons here no yes. so buttons are not available come 
these are like this has a button i can come and press the buttons and control this tv or i can send a user remote and send that information over a ir signal now i say i want to control it to the mobile what i do i'll connect this to the lan network all the control parameters of this device are available on lan i will install a me app in my mobile and press volume up volume down i get control so now but i have to use a me app only because this data what is coming is encrypted i'll explain you a bit more so now so this is this you want to show no data information flows from adl to router router to the switch switch to the access point access point to the mobile device laptop your mobile your ipad or connected over wifi if you have a cctv camera video or phone tv are connected over a lan cable directly using o cable ko leke iske andar to dekho to yahan pe lan cable hai you can directly connect the lan cable this will have access to the internet wire directly via wire you can connect this device over wifi or on a lan cable now data and encryption okay now every device has a data format formats kya hota hai now before like if you have seen movies we used to download a files audio ke liye we used to download mp3 video ke liye avi or mpeg jpeg motion jpeg motion jpeg ha motion jpeg so mera right? then mp4 ko bada ke bola ki isme video ba sakta hai so all these are the formats of a data so mera right? now if now mp3 is a music file audio right i cannot open this in a word can i open mp3 file in a word no because word work is to display a dot file so these are the formats and each file has a format and that particular file can be opened in a specific app only word dot co let you open here then the information will come properly why ultimately let's say there is a word hello okay like i want to send hello from mobile one to mobile two how is this data transmitted Or a digital networking one zero one zero one zero right now I said hello this has to receive hello now what happens this data is converted to one zero plus key plus authentication करके like you get zero 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 one now this information zero 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 one is sent to this device now if you want to get back hello this hello is converted this so what you have to do you have to have authentication key you have to have a Key only then it is get converted to thing one zero one zero one zero then it becomes a hello then this person can see a hello. So, right? so the sender has to have a same format authentication and key encryption key only then you can convert it data. So every information is in the one zeros one zeros, right? Only when you open in the right application you will get the right information if you try to open mp3 here you will get all ascii values which is the random behavior because it's not able to convert the data in a proper readable format so there are like multiple data available on the network you have to choose what you have to do so now i have a cctv cctv is connected to the network okay so this network now i have if i want to see a person moving around i have to connect to And we are, and we are connected to the TV to a HDMI cable. Right? TV, what what format can understand? HDMI. Right? So this cable is what HDMI cable. So TV can understand HDMI. So what I do, I connect HDMI. Now N V R can understand what H dot two six five plus data. So it, what this can send? It can send H dot two six five. So H dot two six five, I have done thing. Right? So the, again, I have a Let's say some other device. I have connected the access point, and I have a mobile. My school, I want to access this through YouTube app. Can I access it? I want to see the camera through YouTube app. Do I have to? Why? Because its format is different. Its authentication is different. So if I want to see what is happening, so what I do in the application, I use 
आई विजन हाफ को इसको मैं एनवीएर को रन करवा एनवीएर क्या करता है इस डेटा को यहाँ पे अगेन गोस बैक टू नेटवर्क स्विच स्विच तो यहाँ पे ओनली व्हेन यू मैच द फॉर्मेट डेटा ओनली देन यू कैन एक्सेस सो यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द डेटा कन्वर्शन टाइम सबके नियम क्या है ट्रैफिक सी है ट्रैफिक सी है बट यू नीड अ राइट एप्लीकेशन राइट एनकोडिंग फॉर द इंटरफेस सो हम लोग नेटवर्क पे क्या करते हैं सब डाल देते हैं इट हैज अ ऑल टाइप ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन आई हैव अ नेटवर्क स्विच ओके यहां पे मैं सीसीटीवी कनेक्ट कर दिया आई हैव अनलॉक कोड यहां पे मैं वीडियो कॉल कनेक्ट कर दिया यहां पे मैं वाईफाई एक्सेस पॉइंट कनेक्ट कर दिया यहां पे मैं एयरटेल का राउटर कनेक्ट कर दिया एयरटेल ओके यहां पे मैं मीडिया प्लेयर स्पीकर लगा दिया ठीक है राइट सो यहां पे मैं स्मार्ट टीवी लगा दिया राइट सो व्हाट इज यहां पे मैं केनी सो आईपी लगा दिया now this device has all of this formats so we are so if you want to access the cctv data this has to be access to npr only ye cctv ka information isko bhi available hai isko bhi available hai par ye log samajh nahi pate hain so you need a right kind of a device right kind of a software to access the information so this becomes a data sharing network It can send CCTV, it can send video over, it can send Wi-Fi spot, it can send audio signal, it can send your like created data, it can send TV data, all the data is sending over IP. Right? The formats can be different. TCP over IP, Modbus over IP, KNX over IP. There are a lot of information. So you need a right device to encode that. So this switch becomes a network which can handle the multiple form of data. So now. So what is network? Network is the place where you share the data, right? So network you have to choose for this. You have to understand how much bandwidth you need, which cable to use, which switch to use, right? On the switch, you have to select layer two, layer three, power over Ethernet, or kind of a data. Based on that, you select, you interconnect them, and install appropriate hardware and software to access the data and control it. So now. So I'll give you one example of what we do. Yeah. So now I have a gate, okay, motorized gate. I want to control this gate, okay. So I have connected a motor. So this this motor can pull this gate and open, right? So I have a window for here. A person comes, okay. Now I am a owner of the house. Okay, I want to know who is the person coming to my mobile. Now this data connection, how it happens? So my mobile is connected to what? Wi-Fi access point. Wi-Fi is connected to what? Switch. Okay, switch is connected to what? Your RTI device. Your RTI is connected to what? KNX or IP? KNX IP is connected to what? You are motor control or shutter actuator. The shutter actuator control you want this motor. Now what happens? This person comes, gives a bell. Now we have a mobile pin pulse here. So this has the fastest cable connected to network switch. So this puts this data on the network switch, right? Now this this data is sent to Wi-Fi access point. I have an app for the VDP. This VDP gives me a notification saying that. I'm getting them. So you press the button. The data goes from this device to Wi-Fi point. Wi-Fi point to switch. Switch to RTI. RTI to switch. Switch to KNX IP controller. KNX IP controller. Shutter controller. Shutter controller to motor controller. So now, this is why you need a network. So now, information flow is available. Ah, simple one motor control requires so much infrastructure to control. Oh, that is easy, 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 right? It's not. It actually, is complicated. You must understand. If you understand one thing, then it becomes easy. So, so only when you understand how the data flows, what is the format, what is the application, what is the authentication, then you can create a system. 
That's why we are called system integrators. So, no, no. Why we are called system integrators? Because we are using multiple systems and integrating them into one and giving the solution to the customers. So, no, no. so information flow internally is how the information flow is the same. And what are the devices? What is the land input? No? All those questions? Without the uh, configuration, without the configuration, one may be two dollars. That is IP address. So I'll give you homework. You for, read about what is WAN. What is LAN? Right? And how to configure a router. How authentication is done. You all that you read. Amplifier, like I just give an example. Amplifier is audio. Yeah. I just say like, if you want to control the audio system, how do you control it from the mobile? Right. So basically, you control the amplifier. How do you allow to control the amplifier through the LAN cable? I just give an example. What is Bluetooth? What is Bluetooth? That's the thing. So you have to understand what is it and why it is used. Bluetooth is a is a format where the data is can be transferred between two devices. So like there's a device here, and it's a short distance. If I'm my Bluetooth device, I can keep it here and I can transfer totally. If you go on the road, I cannot access your Bluetooth. Bluetooth is a format which basically came up with the idea saying before before there was no you internet was not so fast. So how would you transfer the data? So they say like, I have a data, I have data, so we have to connect a wire over VM chromosome. So they came with the idea of Bluetooth. Bluetooth is a short distance data transferring. It's a peer-to-peer, -peer, like from this year to this year. Right now, this is playing some song. Right? And I want to transfer that data. How do I transfer? They found Bluetooth is the my mobile is in the pocket, my Bluetooth is here, it can jump. So it is Bluetooth is just a medium to transfer the data. It's a, it's a one more format. So they're like multiple people have come with multiple transfer the data. It's a, it's a one more format. So they're like multiple people have come with multiple format data to do a right thing. For me, Bluetooth is good for my work. For you, something else is good. For me, something else is good. So it's just a data transfer mechanic mechanism. So now remote is there, no? There is a remote. Now, how does this remote IR LED? Right? Can I use the IR to transfer the music? Not possible. Why? Because it talks in, it's basically when you press, it is sending a, a code, a string of data. Right? So we can switch on, switch off. Compared to the audio, which is a current signal, which is a long format, IR cannot send audio signal. So you cannot use IR for audio conversion. And vice versa. If you would like, can you control this TV with the Bluetooth? Yes, Bluetooth, yes. But may not that may not be a feasible. So IR is better way of communicating with the TV than the Bluetooth. So like that, people came with their own ideas to share the information. Everything requires different format, different things. That's why there are so many formats and everything. Right? So share the information. Everything requires different format, different things. That's why there are so many formats and everything. Right? So you have to understand what are the formats we use in order. You have to understand what are the formats we use in order. Right? So how does the what is the Bluetooth? How does it work? What is IR? How does it work? Right? What is how does it work? Right? What is uh, uh, what is uh, uh, what is uh, how like uh, this one how like uh, this one protocol where all the TVs communicate? So they like multiple formats through which you can information access. So you have to multiple formats through which you can information access. So you have to understand what is the protocols, format, and data transmission method, and why they are used. And what is the protocols? Format and data transmission method and why they are used. Yeah, for the lighting control. For the lighting control. 
Here is the protocol for the lighting control. Here is my goal now. This is how you can network. What is the network? What is the data sharing between the devices? It can handle all the type of data over IP. Whatever you convert it to over IP. Right? Over IP convert it to the network. And anybody can take out the and read the data and control it. So, I'm going to. Now, this motor requires what? 230 volts. Right. So this is this is in what? Over the KNX. This is receiving what? KNX over IP. What this data is sending on? This is sending on KNX over IP. What this is talking on? This is talking to TCP over IP. Right? This comes to the this is what is talking on Wi-Fi. TCP over IP over Wi-Fi. This is talking. TCP IP over. Okay. These are the data types that are being sent at different levels. So we are having two thirty volt, we are having KNX, we are having KNX over IP. 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 Right. So like that, there are multiples of data conversion. Ultimately, what we have to achieve, what the user wants, this is the one thing we have to achieve. We have to achieve it using all the systems. Sir, you do pay right now. 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 You but again, everything can be understood. मैं क्या आसमान से नहीं रहा हूँ, समझ रहे हैं? मैंने भी मतलब हाथ पर मार के ही सीखा है। तुम लोग भी हाथ पर मारो सीख जाओगे, समझ रहे हैं? उतना ही है, right? और कुछ डॉक्स हैं तो पूछो। मेरे को नहीं समझ आ गया ना? स्विच क्या होता है? वाईफाई क्या होता है? राउटर क्या होता है? मोडल Distributed network, uplink, optical fiber. You understood, right? What is the hub? What is the hub? Where you sleeping? Till now. Ah, then. That is the internet parking. I have a network switch. Okay. Now where do I keep this network switch? Inside a. Rack. What is rack? You know what is rack? What is rack? Where, where are you going to keep this? What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? This is a network switch. Where are you going to keep it? I'm not a man. Black and such. You're going to keep it in the rack. What all? In the rack, we have a lot of devices. What all devices come in the rack? We'll have a PoE, we'll have a router, we'll have a NVR. Okay, all these are tucked in the rack. What what this is called? Basically, this is a hub where multiple things are there. Where we are sharing it. I can have a multiple hubs in the multiple flows. This is a network rack. In this, multiple devices are kept. Right? I cannot say that rack, 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 right? So, it's called a hub. There's a hub, one hub in the first floor, there's one hub in the second floor, there's one hub in the ground floor. We exchange the data between the hub to hub. What all hub can have? Hub can have UE, router, NVR, audio pair, media pair, whatever. So, it's called और कुछ लाइक अगेन यू आर लाइक यू गाइस हैव टू लर्न एंड अंडरस्टैंड मतलब एवरीबडी वो 